Our first essayist will be Lisa Simpson. Lisa? Uh, Lisa? <gasps> oh, there she is. Lisa Simpson will now read her essay. I would like to read a different essay, if I may. Um, okay. The city of Washington was built on a stagnant swamp some 200 years ago, and very little has changed. It stank then, and it stinks now. Only today, it is the fetid stench of corruption that hangs in the air. Ooh, ruckus. And who did I see taking a bribe but the Honorable Bob Arnold? Don't worry, Congressman. I'm sure you can buy all the votes you need with your dirty money. And this will be one nation under the dollar with liberty and justice for none. <laughs> Senator, there's a problem at the essay contest. Please, son, I'm very busy. A little girl is losing faith in democracy. Good Lord. Congressman, we want to drill for oil in Teddy Roosevelt's head. Well... Teddy who? <laughs> Congressman... You're under arrest. You work fast. I work for Uncle Sam. We will now vote on the House Bill 1022, the expulsion of Bob Arnold. Uh, m m Mr. Speaker, I'm all for the bill, but <laughs> shouldn't we tack on a pay raise for ourselves? No! Okay, this should make my bosses very happy. Your bosses? Yep. All 250 million of them. When my family arrived in this country four months ago, we spoke no English and had no money in our pockets. Today, we own a nationwide chain of wheel balancing centers. Where else but in America, or possibly Canada, could our family find such opportunity? That's why, whenever I see the stars and stripes, I'll always be reminded of that wonderful word, flag. <laughs> There will be a brief recess while the judges tabulate their votes. Lisa, what's gotten into you? Yeah, your other speech was a little more crowd-pleasing. I'm sorry, Dad. I couldn't think of a nice way to say America stinks. Extra, extra, feds, nab, rotten, rap. Give me one of those. Imprisoned congressman becomes born-again Christian. I can't believe it. The system works. <laughs> 